Hello and welcome to today's video. This is Epic Creatives. In today's video we are going to take a flat image and conform it to a surface using displacement map. So make sure you stick to the end of the video. So let's get started. I am going to be using this two images I downloaded from Google. You can also download it as well. Go to Google and search wrinkled blanket. Go to the image section. Here we have it, so click on it. It will open like this. Right click on it. Select save as and click save, but I won't click save because I have it already. So I just hit cancel. Now the second image name is Philadelphia Flyer logo. You can choose anyone here and download. So let's start editing. First drag your blanket image into Photoshop. Go to image, click adjustments, then select desaturate. We will now save it as a PSD file. So go to file, click save as, select save on your computer. Name the file. I will name mine, Displacement. Set the file type to PSD and click Save. Now bring your logo. Reduce it a little bit. and click OK. Now we want to get rid of this orange background. You can simply do that by right-clicking on the eraser tool. Select the magic eraser tool. Make sure that the logo is selected and then click on the orange background. So the background is gone. Now go to filter, click distort and select displace. Set both the horizontal and vertical scale to 10. and click OK. It will pop up like this, so you select the PSD file that you saved earlier, and click Open. Now this is the result you will get. It looks like this because the blend mode is still set to normal, so we will change the blend mode to something better. Overlay here is pretty good so we choose Overlay. And this is looking pretty nice. So now we want to change the color of the blanket to make it look better. So right click over here and pick the magic wand tool. Click on the blanket to make a selection around it, leaving the logo unselected. Go to adjustment layer and choose solid color. Set the color to light orange and click OK. Then change the blend mode to soft light. Now we have it looking pretty cool. Thanks so much for watching. See you in my next video.